Gengar and Clefable have, throughout trademarking and beta art, been proven to be some sort of the earliest Pokemon made. Confidently, they have also have been the first Pokemon when you list the original 151 by the index number. With Gengar appearing shortly after Clefable, also Clefairy was originally going to be a mascot of Pokemon instead of Pikachu. So it was going to be a pretty important Pokemon. Gengar is shown as the shadow Pokemon, but what exactly is the shadow of? Take a look at the picture of Clefable and then the one of Gengar. Their body shapes are almost exactly alike. But the only major difference with that being Clefable has a curl for its tough hair and tail, while Gengar has spikes. However, the shadow of an upright spiral like Clefable's tail would only be a line or a spike. Now look at these typings. One of a normal type and the other has the ghost type. Due to the human abilities, neither of them could hit each other with stab attacks, since they are just immune to each other. Have you ever tried to hit your own shadow? And that, my little pretties, was Gengar and Clefable, a um, pokey pasta. My final thoughts on the story? Pretty good fury pasta, actually. I actually can honestly picture this being, you know, believable in a sense. Because we all know that Clefable and um, Gengar are kind of almost look-alike. Especially if you've watched, um, you know, certain um, narrations of this story. Uh, the first um, earliest narration of this story I was able to find was the one that Gory Parodies Productions made. And that was like five years ago. Now, I honestly can't find another... Well, I honestly found a few other versions of this story that people, well have narrated such as, um, what was it? Oh, yeah. Um, mountainized narrations. I know that individual has narrated that story about two years ago. And I mean, I believe, um, oh, yeah, Dead Josie also narrated this story. And I mean, a few people from what I do know actually narrated this story, such as Creepy Elliot and all that. It's a pretty good conspiracy theory pasta, to be exact honest. Like, I mean... I honestly find this to be, you know, quite interesting. Because if you look at Clefable and um, Gengar, they're kind of almost exactly like the same Pokemon. But except Gengar is a poison and ghost type. And um, Clefairy is, or Clefable is a normal type. And neither of them could hit each other with their moves. I mean, it's pretty obvious to think that, you know, they obviously almost look the exact same. Except they have some differences, like different type of Pokemon that they are. Like, when I first saw it, I honestly really do enjoy how well this story was made. Like, it does have, you know, a good concept for what this story is. There's definitely a lot of time and effort into this. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna sit here and say this right now. What did I honestly think of this story? I honestly really do think that it's a really good Fury Pasta, and especially with how short it is. Now, despite it being short, I still actually find this story to be a very good and amazing story for what this pasta really is. It does bring back, you know, a few memories of it, actually, because I remember the story being, you know, the good story. Like, one of the good Fury Pastas out there. Like, this is... I know it's been quite a little bit just since I last did a Poke Pasta, so I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead and do another one, because, you know, why not, per se. So I would have to say that the story itself was actually pretty good. I like the grammar, the sentence structure, and all that. It's a pretty good story. So I would have to say it's a really well-made um, Kruby Pasta for what this is, and I actually find this story to have a very good um, believability. As to, you know, the difference between, well, um, yeah, Clefairy and, um, no, Clefable and Gengar. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious to see that it's kind of almost like the exact same. So, yeah, um, what was I trying to think here? Oh, yeah, I actually do like how the story is, despite it being short, 
it's still a pretty good story for what this is. I really do think that this story actually provided pretty good context as to, you know, the, the differences between two Pokemons. It's still a pretty good story. I guess with that said, I would have to say that I really wish that the story was a little longer. That's one of the only um things I would have to say is that I do wish that it was um longer. And if it was longer, then that way we would get it would go more into depth of, you know, of what is actually happening in all in a sort of sense. If you get the idea. So I guess with that be the case, that being said, I'm going to sit here and say this right now. Like I'm going to say, this is, I don't really know who the original author of this story is. I did try to look for it, but to the author of the story, um, if you somehow managed to come across this narration and you happen to be the author of the story, uh, feel free to, feel free to sit there and, um, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. Feel free to sit there and, you know, comment on my, um, video and let me know that you're the one who wrote the story. So then that way I'll give you proper credit then. So, yeah, that's just a tip. I'm going to leave this as anonymous for now until I find out who the author of the story is as I don't really know at this time. But, yeah. Okay. With that being the case, um, Yeah. Like I'm going to say, this is simply my own personal opinion, and if you happen to disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions in regards to these um, creepypastas. This is simply my own personal thoughts. My final rating of the story would have to be, um, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. I'm giving it a 9 because of how good the story is, especially with the, um, these, the fact that the protagonist of the story, well, not really protagonist, but basically... Of how it's described, the differences between, well, Clefable and Gengar, and how they actually look alike, and what they have in common, and all that. I mean, I do think that it was really neat for what this story is, but I do wish that the story was longer, so then that way we would have um, a better explanation for what, you know, more into, like, going to more depth of, depth of it, of, if you get what I mean. But anyways, what did you guys think about this creepypasta? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what do you have done person to help make this story a lot better? Feel free to leave me now with your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today, today's episode. And if you're brand new here to this channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload. So that way, you guys will not miss an upload. And as always... Uh, please roll the outro because I'm out.